Hey guys, today we're checking out all Voris audio pedals. Oh man, okay, <laughs> I could go on forever. Yep. <laughs> hey guys, Chris Barocci here. Welcome to the Tomon Guitars and Basses channel. I'm sitting here with Jason Stolls from Warus Audio. Yeah. Uh, I'm so happy. Thank you for coming. Man. Thanks for having us. Oh, absolutely. Good to be here. We have pretty much all Warus audio pedals on this. Pretty one, much. Right? Yeah. Where we're missing, I think, just the Janus. The Janus. Yeah. The one with the joystick. Yep. The one okay. with the joysticks. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Let's just go through the lineup. Pretty much Nam style. Yeah, name, right. okay, name okay, style, like, run and go, 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 we go. go. So we'll start with the EB10, which is the newest pedal that we've released. It's a studio grade EQ and boost. Okay. Okay, so we've got it set up right now for a mid cut. So we've got this really great telly uh, that's got some mid range going, oh, yeah. but we can kind of convert it to a strat sound with okay. a click of a button, okay. scooping some mids. Cool, uh, let me start with that. It's got three presets as well, so you can dial in maybe a specific sound for three different guitars and step through those. So we'll go on to the Deep Six. So this is a compressor. Of course, you've got the blend knobs. You've got parallel oh, compression. That's, that's very nice. <clears throat> so we'll start with full dry. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you, you can uh, tweak it while I play okay, a little sure. bit. And then I'll uh, bring the, the blend up and we'll yeah. hear the compressor engage. Yeah, cool. <laughs> yeah, you had to do it, huh? Uh, yeah, I, I yeah. just couldn't resist. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's the Deep Six. Um, Very nice. It's great. And then we'll move on to the Julia. So um, this has been a really great seller for us. A lot of people love the DCV knob. So you've got dry uh, all the way here, chorus in the middle, vibrato on this side, but then you can blend anywhere in between, oh. right? So the way I show this a lot of times is we'll start on full dry, and so you, if you'll play, we'll mm -hmm. hear when I kick it on, you won't hear any difference. All right. All right. So it's. So you can kind of blend in the wet signal, and then that creates the chorus effect. Um, and then we can go all the way over to vibrato. If I imagine that with an analog delay together, oh, right. it's like pretty much a, an analog tape delay simulation. Yeah, it's similar, yeah. It should be just like this right here. Mm -hmm. Right, it really analyzed this tape. Uh, yeah, um, but we can also get a little bit of that sound out of the ARP 87. We'll get there. In oh, okay, a, we'll okay. get there in a minute. Oh, great. Okay. Uh, so the emissary is a is a dual parallel clean boost. So you've got one uh, JFET boost that's bright, and then you've got another one that's um, got this mid peak that's like a focused sound. Okay. You can use either one, or you could blend the two. So this is cool for slide. Uh, or like maybe blues licks and things where you want to like make the mids really punch through. Yeah. yeah. Wow. It cuts through. Yeah, it really <laughs> does. So then we go to the Voyager. Which is one of our the first pedal at Walrus Audio. I right? like that. Gain pot is blending between clean and dirty signals. 
Oh. Um, that's a little bit of a, 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 a secret there. So then we'll go to the Warhorn, which is another um, slight mid bump kind of pedal. There's a little more hair, a little more dirt here. So this is a pretty like singy blues kind of uh, yeah. box. It does really well with that. <laughs> It's fun. So 385 is based off of of a tube amplifier. So we wanted to do an amp style overdrive. Okay. And we didn't know kind of what vein we wanted to shoot for, like a Fender thing or a Marshall thing, etc. So uh, we happened to stumble across at a Dawes concert uh, these guys using um, tube amps that are inside of a film projector. So like really old school, old school cinemas. yeah, old school film projector. You take the projector off, and there's a dual six v six tube amp underneath, <laughs> no way. with volume, tone, and a quarter inch jack on the front. That's how they come. Uh, and so there's some guys started playing through them. We got a hold of one, and it's just a screaming sound. So okay. Okay. Um, it's just it's like tube amp turned up to the max. It's about to break, kind of thing. So right. get ready for this. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Another cool thing is it's really dynamic, just yeah, like an amp. So yeah. if you like roll back just a little bit on your volume yeah. and lighten up. Yeah. Crazy. So if you like play a little bit there, but then like rip it and then yeah, go to the yeah. bridge, it'll just scream yeah. all of a sudden. So uh, yeah, it's crazy. Fun. It's awesome, huh? Okay. Yeah, yeah, super okay. fun, super dynamic. So for the guys that love playing with their volume knob, uh, it's hard to beat that. The Jupiter Fuzz, uh, got three clipping options, tone, uh, fuzz volume, and then a bass cut, and this thing just gets nasty. There's no other I way around this it, pedal. so get it's, ready for this. Crazy. That's yeah. the left setting, right? Yeah, it's the that's left, the, right. The yeah, that's my favorite. Yeah, yeah. 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 Something like that. <laughs> it's hard not to be yeah. it's, Again, how to I do love it. This sound. Yeah, yeah. I love this sound. It's fun. Okay, and then the next is the Congress. So our friend Jared Sharp from Saturday Night Live, uh, which is a show in the States. Uh, he plays on that show, has for a long time, and he had this idea um, to put uh, a K fuzz tone style circuit, which is an old 60s fuzz, uh, with a filter. Oh. Um, so okay. you can run them um, together. You can run just the fuzz or just the filter. Um, you got an expression pedal control for the filter cutoff. Okay. It's a resonant two-pole low-pass filter, so okay. synth-like. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then also has an envelope you can turn on and off on oh. the filter. So a lot of wow. sounds, a lot of versatility in this okay. guy.
the glitching. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's glitchy. It's fun. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's really cool. And a lot of like the pop tunes you hear yeah. coming out now have a lot of these kind of okay. sounds in okay. them. So what we'll do, we'll keep playing the fuzz, and yeah. I'll kick the filter on, yeah. and I'll st I'll manipulate some controls sure. there. Sure, sure. Yeah, <laughs> it's a lot of fun. So now we'll jump up here to the the Iron Horse, which is just if you know, I mean, get ready, right? It's full it's, it's out big. distortion. I know. Yeah. Yeah, right. so it's thick and chunky, but still really articulate. Yeah, you know, yeah. and really compressed and smooth. So next we have the luminary, which is a quad octave. So you've got two octaves down, one down, one up, and two up. Uh, wet dry mix, attack control for the octaves, a filter on the octaves, and then a tremolo on the octaves. Three presets in this guy, and expression pedal control. So it's a lot, right? Wow. So we've got a low octave and a little bit of a plus one dialed in. Mm -hmm. So I'll start dry when I turn it on, and then I'll roll in, and you'll hear the octaves kind of come Sweet. in. Sweet. Totally tracks everything. It's ridiculous. You get your slide out. Yeah. Try, and it'll track the slide. It'll track your no bends. No way. Yeah. No way. We'll put a little dirt on here for fun. Just a, just a bit. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Next up is the uh, Lillian, so it's an analog phaser, um, and then we have adapted the the DCV knob from the Julia that everybody kind of knows and loves. We've put that on the phaser, so we'll listen to some sounds here. Mm -hmm. set that rate slow, yeah. right? Which yeah. is really fun for like rhythmic playing yeah. like that. Yeah. The monument is um, all analog, uh, signal path, tap tempo, tremolo, as well as harmonic tremolo. So next is the ARP 87. You ever use a delay pedal? Yeah, okay, that's what this guy is. So we can just listen to the digital here and we'll turn yeah. the mod up so you kind of get some warble, some okay. kind of tape sounding. Okay. Uh, you know exactly no, where I know I'm where you're going. <laughs> Thank you. 
So a cool feature on the ARP87 is you can hold the tap switch down and it'll turn the repeats to maximum and hold them. Uh, all right. So it holds that chord that was... Uh, yeah, it'll just, it'll drag the repeats out of whatever you had loaded. Okay. And then okay. you can build on it actually as oh, well. Oh, right. great. Um, that's what I did right there at the uh, end. Yeah, yeah. Um, next is the Fathom. So we got the Fathom Reverb. Let's stay in that same mode, we'll turn the mix up a little bit, but then we'll go to high modulation, and if you let something ring out, you'll really hear it. See it like dip in pitch? <laughs> it's like almost a semitone. Great, <laughs> or even more. It is a semitone. Yeah. So I went to lo-fi there and it like carves out a lot of lows and highs and kind of gives you an, really an trippy. AM radio yeah. sound. Yeah, yeah, and then a lot of mod there. And then the Great. slow, so the slow came out um, not too long ago. It's been, people have loved it and it's great. It's a, it's, it departs from this and goes to more of an ethereal sort of ambient sound, right? So um, we've got the same sustain switch. I didn't mention that, but you can hold this down and it drags out the decay. Again, you wow. can dial it back, but it kind of wants to go to that the 10 minute, like yeah. just lose yourself yeah, yeah. Uh, sort of sound. So uh, let's listen to this. In dark, dark mode here is what we'll start with. Dark mode, okay. yeah. It's fun, huh? Yeah. So we'll go to uh, oh, Rise real quick. No wonder people love it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. So in Rise, it's like an auto swell. So if you play like slow, sort of staccato stuff, yeah. it'll like, it'll let your the reverb kind of bloom in, and I'll okay. set it to full wet, and you'll really hear what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh man. It yeah, trails on, right? It trails on, so I turned ah, it off and I let it trail okay. off. Yeah. And then lastly, you've got the descent reverb. So this is the first reverb that we did. Um, you've got the ability to mix the dry, an octave down, and an octave up. The signals that are feeding the reverb. So these three knobs turn into basically a mixer and they control the level that's feeding the verb. Wow. Um, so we'll start here with um, a hall sound and just the dry feeding the verb, and I'll turn some octaves up. Okay, okay. And then 
last but not least, the power supplies. So all of this is powered by two of our, our power supplies, the Phoenix and the Atos. The, they're both fully isolated. The Phoenix is 15 output, and the Atos is eight output. There's only one more thing to do. I really want you okay. to tweak a couple of sounds for me. Okay. Uh, because it's like the number of options on this board is really uh, fascinating. <laughs> um, basically overwhelming, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to sure. be honest. Yeah. Okay, so let's let's go for the, the traditional dude. Let's let's uh, give me some dad rock. Some you know, dad lead, rock. Lead, lead tone, dad rock, some delay, whatever. Yeah. Whatever you feel is it's appropriate for that kind of, you know. Give me some 80s. <laughs> <laughs> Should I play or yeah, yeah, go for it. Yeah. Great. Okay. What else? Stone rock fuzz okay. with some with some doom rock touch to it. If you cannot hear yourself with that sound on stage, you have to go see a doctor. Yeah, go get your ears checked, right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fuzz, octave, and tremolo is a fun combination. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Great. Maybe and like something a, really subtle. A big something, ambient uh, thing? Um, yeah. Yeah. But What's, the way that you can still hear what you're playing. Yeah, sure. Like you have the option of uh, having some runs on top, but, yeah. but it sort of, you know, fills out all the. Let's, okay, the, let's the do space. this. Um, Play kind of maybe the one chord or the root chord of mm -hmm. what you're gonna play. Yeah, yeah. And I'll grab it with the slow. Let's go for a B. Okay, <laughs> I'm done for today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you guys can go. Um, just leave this here, please. Sure, yeah, you can stay here. Oh, man. Okay, thank you very much. This so was fun. very informative and Thanks, even good. way more uh, inspiring. Oh, that's, cool. That's, I think, what these things are supposed to do anyhow, so. Yeah, um, yeah. 
Thanks so much. Oh, my hat, absolutely. Thanks Jason, for having us. Thanks for coming. Absolutely. Yeah. You guys check out Wars Audio. Your website is simplewarsaudio.com. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, .com. So um, go and check it out and um, whatever. If you have any questions, we'll meet in the comment section. And anyhow, just uh, hit the bell, the subscribe button, and all those stuff. You guys take it easy. Yeah. Thanks, Jason, again. Thanks. thanks a lot. Cheers, guys. Cool. Fucking awesome. Yeah. Sounds damn. That's cool. Thank you.